This is not the instrument. It's an illusion. You're the instrument. Everything you're working on is internal to you. Uh, I hear uh, Mr. Rogers says, Well, Andre, how do you play music? <laughs> I said, Wow, well, that is a hell of a question. <laughs> so I stopped, and Andre says, It all depends on the intensity of your concentration and the vividness of your oral, A U R A L, oral imagination. So, question How many think you have trouble playing what you hear? Well, you're all wrong. You are all playing exactly the way you hear. Then many years later, I was watching a, a just happened to see it by clicking through the channels, a, a little excerpt of Dizzy backstage after a high school concert with these kids all around them asking questions. And the kids said, uh, Mr. Gillespie, what's going on in your head when you play? What's the best question of all? I used to ask that of myself. Um, he said, well, most people think it's ba do ba do ba do ba do ba He says, but it's not. It's really ba do ba do ba do ba do ba <laughs> <laughs> So, you play exactly the way you hear. Kuchevsky proved it. So if you're hearing ba do ba da ba do ba da ba that's the way you're going to play. What he's saying is your oral imagination, your hearing, is not vivid enough, alive enough in your ears for you to play it. When the signal from the brain gets strong enough, you can play it. That's what you're doing, developing a strong brain signal. So what you're, what you're saying is you hear weak or pale, if you will. And you've got to hear loud like this. When I'm playing, I'm not saying I think I'll play this and then I think I'll play this and I think I'll play that. It's going by too fast. It's an intellectual approach. What's going on is actually the choice is out of my hands. It's going by too fast to consciously choose it. I'm choosing it on an intuitive level. And the intuition, the, the decision making process at the, dis, at the intuitive level functions 20,000 times faster than the intellectual process. How many of you worked on a lick and then tried to throw it in your solo? And what happens? What happens? It messes it up. Messes it up. Because you're thinking. It doesn't take intelligence to be a jazz musician. There's plenty of proof of that around. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp yeah. Um, yeah, I can play a, a two-five kind of lick. Okay, cool, perfect. Cool. Okay, here's what I want you to do. This the process is crucial, all right? I want you to close your eyes, put your hands on the keyboard where you're going to start, because we don't want to have a lot of time between my explanation, my instructions, and the and the execution. Close your eyes. In your head, scream as loud as possible the line. Then, when you're done with it, open your eyes and toss it off. You notice the different way she played it? Yeah. You notice the way you played it? Yeah. Thank you. I, I rest my case. Yeah.